Hi, this is JC Sum. And I'm Magic Bait Lee. And today we're gonna do a side by side comparison with the various coin tails or Miser's Dream buckets in the market today. That's right, it's gonna be fun. Well, Ning, I believe you have some of our favorite coins That's to be right. used in the Miser's Dream. Yeah, over here I have everyone's favorite, the American half dollar, very commonly used, as well as the American dollar coin. That's right, but we're gonna use my favorite for this comparison. Uh, these are the Nielsen Palming coins. They're about dollar size and very, very thin. So I can really load a lot in for the routine. Sweet. Well, as you can see, we have various buckets to get into. So here we go. All right, first up, we're gonna have a look at real champagne buckets. These are buckets of pails you can find from uh, houseware departmental stores or restaurant supplies, or you can steal them from a bar. Okay, so we actually stolen one over here. This real champagne bucket comes from the arena, which is a club that we perform at every night. So this real champagne bucket now, it's made of lightweight stainless steel. So because it's made of lightweight stainless steel, well, you can get bumps quite easily. Although it is very light. Mm -hmm. But you see, different pails are made differently, they're molded differently. And I'll give you an idea of the sound for this particular pail. We'll drop it about this height. It's alright, it's a bit hollow. It's pretty loud, but not ideal in our case, isn't that right? We'll put that aside for now. We've got another bucket right over here. Now this is uh, heavyweight stainless steel. Well, it feels heavier. Much, much heavier. Of course, issues are if it's heavier, if you are doing the miser's dream, it can get tiring mm. in a bit. That's right, especially if you are like, having your coins to look here, so it's added weight. Do you agree on that? Well, let's see how it sounds like though, with a real heavy, uh, stainless steel bucket. Very nice ring, of course. That's right. The bucket is very solid, but it is pretty heavy. Pretty heavy indeed. Okay, I got one of these. Ling, check this out. This is like a small cute one. You like this, don't you? Yeah. But if you notice, it is pretty heavy. It is stainless steel. Again, a different kind of stainless steel, but it still can dent. How much does it say, Ling? Let's see, with price tag, oh, $25.52 from what private That's right, this one was from a restaurant Chinatown. supply shop. Uh, Chinatown in Singapore. We'll have a look at the sound or have a listen to the sound. Well, due to this kind of stainless steel and how it's molded, the sound's pretty hollow as well. Yeah, not as nice as it could be. Well, let's see what's up next. Well, right now we're going to look at a professional coin pill. Now, I got this many, many, many years ago from the original Ring and Things company. This is a professional coin pill made of aluminum. Well, you got it a very, very long time ago? A very, very long time ago. It looks it, okay? It's kind of dinged up. It is. I could only get one at a time, but it's very light. Yeah, it is. It's it is light. very light. If you're starting out with the Miser's Dream, uh, if you can ever find this, it's pretty good to work with because it's so light. Uh, listen to the sound, Ning. You could grab the coin. So I get to drop the coin now. Very loud as you can hear, but doesn't have the nice ring a stainless steel bucket. Yeah. Right? I mean, it's light. I mean, I like it because I mean, if you're a worker and you have a whole bunch of coins in your hand, it's really easy to work with, but it just doesn't sound as good. That's right. Well, now if you're on a budget, Ning, uh, you might want to pick up this one right over here. That's light. Uh -huh. Okay, this is lightweight stainless steel. You can get it at, I guess, uh, departmental stores that sell. This is really just a container for cutlery and utensils. How does it feel? Um, is it cheap? It's cheap. Well, it feels like it costs, I guess, and it certainly won't get you the girls. Okay, Nick, you wanna try dropping the coin? Have a listen. Check it out. Now, maybe if you're just starting out on a budget, this would be pretty good. Yeah, uh, but definitely not if you're a professional. Well, yeah. maybe not. But this is the, probably the cheapest kind of stainless steel bucket you could get. Sounds like it. <laughs> well, right now, we are going to move on to what I guess we consider the three top buckets in the market of coin pails. Absolutely, if you're a professional, this is what we have skill That's right. Uh, the first one, I think, is a... Uh, well, quite obscure, but a lot of people seem to like it. It's from Magic Ink uh, from Chicago, called the Bell Bucket. You know why it's called the Bell Bucket? Uh, because it looks like a bell. No, it's because of the sound it makes. It's really touted to have the most beautiful ring. Yeah. Would like to try that out, me? Hey, no, no, it feels really solid and it's got a really nice weight to it. So here goes. Very wow. loud, resounding ring, pretty nice. Very nice. Now, it doesn't look like a, you know, Champagne bucket looks more like a container, but yeah. it's a good size, handy size. But I can tell you, it is the heaviest bucket among all of these. Yeah, it feels pretty heavy. 
So if you're farming many many coins, you might get tired while you're doing the routine. But it does sound really good. All right, now we're gonna move on to these two pills. <laughs> they look alike, right? Yes, very much so. I just will take them for you just to check it out. Okay, uh, they are not identical. This is Gary Darling's coin pill. It is pretty lightweight as you can see. Yeah, I can like balance it on my fingertips. Mm -hmm. It feels light, uh, but because it's very light as well, uh, well, it came to be dented. No way, you mean in shipment? In shipping, it came dented. Yikes! So you can't drop this, it's pretty fragile. Now, this is started to have the loudest ring on the market. You dropped it a bit low this time. Alright, but I'll I just do it all the time. Alright. All this height? Yeah, that'll be good. Check it out. Alright, so pretty loud. Uh, many people like it. Now, the price of this is pretty high. How much is it? It's about $137 to buy it retail. Uh, that's US dollars. So we're gonna put that away. Very popular bucket still. Now we come to what we call the perfect coin pill and this is from us right uh well it's yours but i do sell it so oh that's true it out. <laughs> okay now this is actually uh heavy duty stainless steel but the way it's turned it's actually very lightweight we also modified it that's right such that it's even more lightweight you can feel that yeah. so you see i can just like balance it out with just three fingers well compared to the darwin's coin pill which is heavier well that's heavier this is lighter so if you're a worker and working with like many coins, you will love to you know actually use this because yeah, it can pump so much more. Yeah, it's got the lip as well right here, mm -hmm. uh, which is straight. Now the Darwin coin pill it's slanted so you can't get as much of a grip. Now I told you that the Magic Inks bell bucket has the most beautiful ring, right? Yep. And Gary Darwin's bucket is started to have the loudest ring. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that the perfect coin pill has the loudest and the most beautiful ring. You know, they always like to say, show, not tell. So let's show it to you. Mm. Very nice ring, very solid. Now you can drop this, it will not dent. Not a problem. Yet it is very nice. Yeah, it's perfect. And well, best of all, of course, is the price. It's about half the price of the Darwin bucket. So I think it's worth having a look at. Sorry, so check it out.